10 seconds left on the clock. Team 1 leading with 2 to 1 against Team 2. Rob takes the possession of the puck and slides towards the neutral zone as he shoots. However, this is intercepted by Bob as he slap shots the puck and hitting the net, scoring the goal and ending a game of with a lead of 3 to 1. Hi, my name is Claire Daly, and this video will be an overview of the Skills 2023 Robotics Challenge. This year's game is a head to head ball hockey challenge. Teams will need to shoot balls across the court for points while defending their own nets and zones. Now, the in depth view of the court. The court consists of four zones the neutral zones, the defensive zones, the starting zones, and the driver zones. The neutral zones, also referred to as autonomous zones, consists of two sections divided in the middle with an eight foot long opening. These areas are separated from the defensive zones with 31.5 inch gaps evenly distributed along the length of the barrier. Each team will have an exclusive use of their neutral zone closest to their half of the court, where they will be able to place a single autonomous robot. Starting zone. Teleoperated robots must start on the trapezoidal area behind the defensive zone, while the autonomous robots start within their autonomous zone. Defensive zones. Defensive zones range from the neutral zone to the end of the court. Within these zones, there consists of three nets and two ball dispensers. These pieces cannot be moved or tinkered with. Each team will be able to operate max of two teleoperated bots in their defensive zone. Driver zones. These are where the drivers will be during the match. You'll be able to have two drivers per team located in the triangular sections at the end of the court alongside their defensive zone. Game Overview. Each match will consist of two teams, where they will be allowed to have a maximum of two teleoperated bots and one autonomous bot, while they attempt to hit the balls that fall from the dispenser into the opposing team's nets. Scoring will depend on the final overall state of the game. For every ball on the defensive zone of the opposing team, you will get one point. Each ball inside the nets will give an additional two points. Points will be rewarded only to the balls belonging to your team. Each match will last four minutes. If there is a tie, there will be a tiebreaker. Balls inside the team's neutral zone will be counted. Whoever has the most will win the tiebreaker. If there is another tie, a shootout will occur. During the shootout, each team will take a single shot from their crease area. The shootout will continue until there is a winner. The highest scoring ball will determine the winner. Other important rules are Competitors must remain in their assigned driver area. Balls can only be hit by a blade. However, balls can bounce off the robots if coming into contact with the ball. Regarding all restrictions of the blade, be sure to check out the 2023 Roboscope for more information. Balls stay inside the court and cannot be removed from nets. Bots must stay inside their assigned area and can't reach over walls. In conclusion, make sure to read the scope carefully for more information. And if you still have any questions, email dan.kurtz at dsb1.ca. We hope everyone has a fun time building and participating in the Robot Hockey Game Tournament. See you at the game!